Hi and welcome to tonight's tutorial. I'm Pam Wrigley and I'm going to show you how to create a fabulous high bun when working with fine hair. So if you have any questions as we go through tonight's tutorial, please just pop your questions into the chat box and I will do my best to get back to you straight away. Uh, it might take me a couple of minutes if I'm kind of concentrating on creating the hairstyle. Um, but if you, it could be about tonight's hairstyle, or it could be, let me just get this straight for you, that's it. It could be about, you could have a question about tonight's hairstyle, or it might be about anything to do with bridal hair. Um, I am here to help. So excuse the uh, background noises. We're in the middle of London, in the centre of London, and they can hear a fire engine going past, I think. So sorry about the background noises, but it won't affect our hairstyling tonight. So as I say, if you have any questions, please just pop your message into the chat box and I will answer. So a little bit about tonight's hairstyle. So at the weekend, actually, I'm, I'm very busy with weddings and with brides at the moment. I don't know about you. Um, but if you're learning how to be a bridal hairstylist, you're definitely in the right place. And one of this style was inspired by one of my clients that I worked with on Saturday. I had a lady called Susan, whose picture is in the little thumbnail. And she was having an engagement party in the Shard. And a super duper affair it was. And she had a fabulous kind of gorgeous glittery dress and a fabulous hairstyle to match. So I'm going to show you how to create a lovely high bun when you work with fine hair. Sometimes, I mean, I didn't have a chance to do a trial with Susan. So literally, I met her on the day. So she had a hairstyle in mind, which was this high bun. But she had quite fine hair. So sometimes as a bridal hairstylist, you kind of have to think on your feet. You don't really want to be saying to people that they can't have that style because quite often there's a way we can work around it and create a version of the style that they want. So what I did with Susan's hair, you might we do have a tutorial on creating a high bun on one of our other vid live videos. And what I've done there is I've created one ponytail up high but what I did with Susan was create two separate ponytails one at the front here just on top of the crown and one just below making sure that the hair coming in to the uh, into the ponytails is nice and kind of soft and relaxed you don't want it pulled up too tight now if you're not sure how to kind of get to this basic foundation that we have here getting this hair nice and soft up to the ponytail yet still having these ponytails nice and secure then you can have a look at our online bridal hair course where we have 150 200 tutorials showing step by step how to prep the hair how to create the right foundations so that then the hair styling then the kind of creating the style is much easier. But we've already jumped to this stage. So we've already got the hair prepped. She's had some mousse and some salt spray and she's been blow dried, pinned up into these, tied up, I should say, into these two ponytails. And then what I'm going to do next is just create a lovely soft twist in the hair and create the first half of this bun so we can decide I think it needs to go this way around you can kind of have a little play around decide which way the hairstyle looks best when you've created the twist and you're going to wrap, wrap it around and then we're just going to loosen this now if your client had has particularly fine hair then you could always maybe wrap something like a little bit of padding just around the ponytail and it will give you an extra kind of anchor to uh, to secure the hair to and it will make it all a little bit kind of bigger 
and more fabulous if she wants a particularly big kind of gorgeous bun. So you're going to play with this hair, position it, get a shape that you're happy with. It takes time to do this kind of um, this twisted bun. So don't be in a rush. You've just got to, as you go along, you can pop a few little pins in there just to help to hold the shape. Let me get this just a bit tighter. If it doesn't go quite right, don't worry. Go back, retwist, and then create your style. She says, retwist, and then decide which way, well, ah, that's better. You'll find there'll be one way that the hair will want to twist. So find that way, and then you can start with your little props in the hair, that's much better. And create your twisted, gorgeous, pulled out bun. Now, I don't know about you, but I am super busy at the moment with my clients. So I've got to find time for the trial run. Let's keep this in here, little prop there. Now you'll see it kind of, it's gonna look fabulous, but it might all be a little bit kind of far forwards. And we almost wanna make this bun, you don't just want it to look great from the front with this lovely high bun here. We also, want it to look fabulous, so the profile has to look great. So I am working with a mirror, because I always find it much easier, so you'll see me looking down here on camera, because it makes it much easier when you work with a, with a mirror. Let me get my Stronghold hairspray. So you can see it does look like a fabulous bun, but it kind of just looks like, it looks great from the front, so she might be looking at it in the mirror, and thinking we need it a little bit bigger here. And she might be thinking she loves it and it's kind of just what she wants from the front. Let me just smooth this little bit of frizzy hair down. We don't want that. Better, much better. So she's going to be looking in the front here but of course we can see from all different angles and it's going to be a very small bun if it's just perched on top of her head here. So if she has fine hair and you feel you can't quite get enough kind of oomph and enough volume with just one ponytail, then just do two ponytails close to each other, twist, twist. Let me just check our questions. Hi, Jessica. Let me just get my glasses so I can see properly. Let's have a look. Ah, so Jessica has just asked me, she's just said when she pulls out from the twist to create the, get the bun bigger, the hair gets very frizzy. Well, this, it's partly to do with hair prep. So hopefully you've put a bit of mousse in the hair. If you've had time to crimp it, that's great, especially if she has very fine hair. But if you haven't had time to crimp, then get some mousse into the hair, blow dry the hair, be quite generous with that mousse. And before you start to pull the hair out, I mean, I've just used this Stronghold hairspray here, but equally good would be a little bit of spray wax, or we have another product that we use that I don't have with me tonight. Uh, the Goldwell Structure Cream. It's like a Stronghold Curl Cream, but any kind of smoothing cream or smoothing product will work. And you can smooth out the hair. So, so let me do this with spray wax today. So smooth out the hair so it's nice and smooth before you twist. So now the hair is frizz free before you twist. A nice little twist in the hair there. And then we're gonna wrap this around. Let's just see which way I think it wants to go that way, I think. And then when you start to pull out, 
you should be able to avoid it getting too kind of frizzy and fly away. Let me just get a little pin, one of our little props to just prop this up in place, this one. So as you go along, let me turn her around so you can see what I'm doing here. I want this piece of hair to kind of start over here. So it kind of becomes part of the bun over here. So I've just used a strong, hmm, let me let go of that for a minute, a strong kind of straight hairpin. Let me see if I can get that back. And I just pop that just in, into kind of the ponytail, just to hold it in position whilst we continue to pull. And I think also, Jessica, you might find when you're pulling, try not to get really small bits of hair because then you might find they end up kind of being a bit wispy. So be a bit braver and pull out slightly. Try to make sure you're kind of pulling out a little clump of hair rather than little individual hairs. If you're a little bit tentative with it, then it kind of, you're getting less hair, you're pulling less hair out and it probably will have a tendency to frizz. And that may well be what's happening. So be a bit braver with your pulling out and try and get kind of enough hair kind of that you can get between your fingers. So it's enough to pull it out, but it's not such a small amount that it ends up looking frizzy and fly away and I think that may well be it so a combination of product and bravery and you'll be able to do it no problem we can prop that in there keep pulling now she does need a lot more attention I've got to say I'm just going to use a bobby pin on the end here to pop that in so, you know, we need to kind of pull her out a lot more, make sure she looks lovely from every angle. She certainly looks a lot better from here because she is kind of just bigger and chunkier and balanced. And that's really what we're looking for. So it's got to look good from the front, from the side, from the back. So you could do two ponytails, even if your client has thick has a lot of thick hair if you want a really big bun with lots of kind of pieces in there but it's invaluable if your client has thin hair hi louisa i am keeping very well thank you i hope you are too I am really busy at the moment. So I did have a trial run booked for today with a client, but her wedding isn't till November. So I actually rearranged it because I've got, I've got a wedding tomorrow. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've got four weddings in a row, big weddings. So I've kind of been resting a little bit today so that I have my energy for my bride. So everything is fabulous for them. And um, yeah, it's been fabulous actually. On Saturday, so I did. A, I was in the Savoy on Saturday morning in central London with this fabulous lady who had, we used her natural curls and she had a really kind of Hollywood vibe going on with lovely red lip and some gorgeous lashes. And then I had my lady in the Shard in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, I was with another lady up in North London. You know what, being a bridal hairstylist is a, fabulous job everybody's happy you work in beautiful locations people are putting on gorgeous dresses so really there's nothing not to like the key is to having a stress free day is to working out your getting your timings right and knowing how to create the right foundations so your hairstyles stay put so there we go. That's tonight's hair. So I could spend a bit longer pulling and tweaking just for perfection. But I think for the purpose of the tutorial, you've seen how we've used two ponytails here to create our foundation so we can get a nice big kind of chunky bun. Even when working with fine hair. 
So I look forward to seeing you again next week. I hope you're keeping busy with lots of brides. And if you need any help, you can always join me on my online course. And there's some information in the bio. Um, or subscribe. Why not subscribe if you haven't subscribed already? And hopefully um, I will see you. I'll, you'll get a notification and uh, you won't miss out miss next week's tutorial. Thank you for joining me, guys. And I will see you soon. If you have any styles you'd like to learn, please just drop me a line in our little comments box. Let me just read our messages here. Ah, thank you, Sharika. I'm glad you like the style. Now, Hollywood Waves. We do have a tutorial on our e-learning site where we do Hollywood Waves, but we may well do those as well on one of those tutorials. So thank you for that suggestion, Jessica. I'll see... Uh, Ooh, I might do it. Might, we may be, be getting some live models in soon. So, because um, we're doing lots more filming for our e learning site. So, maybe we'll be able to do that then. But we have tutorials on our e learning site showing you exactly how to get beautiful, kind of deep, gorgeous Hollywood waves, as well as kind of a slightly more modern, softer version. And the tutorials are all there. If you want any more information, please just get in touch. But thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.